Hello, and welcome to lecture six of the Intro to Bit Badges course. In this lecture, we'll be talking a little bit more about how you can use Bit Badges as infrastructure as opposed to, you know, using the Bit Badges site. So, up until now, excuse me, um, we have been using the Bit Badges site, showing you how easy it is, how to do badges in the site, create claims in site, have users claim in site. However, um, we are, our actual goal is to have users not even know that they're using bit badges behind the scenes. They just interact with the apps and services as they normally would, but you know, you might provide custom experiences based on the protocols they have set. So for example, if they prefer English or prefer dark mode, you automatically set that on your site, um, even though they, and they have it set on their bit badges universal protocol. So it'll, it's done automatically behind the scenes. They don't even know that bit badges is being used. You can also, you know, gate services or identify bad actors. Maybe you don't want scammers with the scam badge um, to access your site. You can, you know, deny those users who have a certain negative badge. You can also manage a community, so assign roles to different users, assign protocols, you know, um, gate services, recognize achievements, anything. So the easiest way that you'll typically do this is through the sign-in with bit badges. Um, so Think of this like your sign-in with Google equivalent. You just quickly redirect to the BitBadges site, and you know you can check certain criteria, um, receive certain attestations or credentials that the user has, um, even check um, anything from the claim interface that we talked about in the last lecture. So in this example, you can see that we're signing in from a specific app. This, in this case, we're just it's just BitBadges, but it'll be your app if you request sign-in. And you can see that here we prove that you know none of the scam badges owned at the time of authentication, um, and they must successfully meet the criteria to be granted access to the site. You can also see that um, they can provide different like credentials and stuff in their BitBadges account. So these can be like selectively revealed, so you don't reveal all information to the site. Maybe you just want to reveal your GPA and name, but not your attendance record. So you can do that. You know, you can add that and only reveal that to the site. Um, and so they would only be temporarily redirected to the BitBadge site, but then in your site, you would just receive all this info, verify it on your end, and then implement your utility. So if we take a look at this, um, if we go to like bitbadges.io slash quickstart, you can see this is a sample demo um, repository. It'll just redirect you to that. This is actually the quickstarter. Um, that we have, you can see it on GitHub um, at BitBadges Quick Start. See here. Um, but basically, just think of this as your site. Um, you know, you have users sign in with their wallet, and then they can gain access to um, um, just give it a second. sign these. These are just, you know, authenticating the user is who they say they are on the site. So. so as you see here, we're now connected with my address. And you know, if you click sign in, it would redirect you to the sign in with BitBadges site. So again, this is just using BitBadges behind the scenes. Um, and then it, once you sign in, it'll just redirect you back to the site. A cool thing with um, the fact that everything is kind of outsourced, is that you might not even need to connect with the user wallet in site. You might just, you know, redirect to the, the user to bit badges, and then just you'll receive their address from the sign in attempt, and then you can just use that as like the username, whatever, um, on your end. So you actually might not even have to need to interact with Insight wallets if you don't, if it's not required for your use case or utility. And as you see here, um, you can also query certain stuff about a user. In this case, we're querying this Solana address. You can see what protocols they have set, what badges they have set, and you can obviously customize your site or utility based on what um, what they have in their portfolio or what claim criteria they can satisfy and so on. So yeah, I, I just want to reiterate that while we do have a fully fledged site, and everything is accessible in the site, we actually hope that bit badges can be just behind the scenes as infrastructure as opposed to, you know, in the in 
as like a main thing that users see.